Morning. It's three o'clock. five. I'll tell you what sucks, having to go back to work. <coughs> that royally sucks ass. Really great meetups. Uh -huh. Damn. I got to watch one video this morning before I could get out the door. I watched Byers M66 and his KLR dash and the way he's got it rigged up. Mark, I just made a couple quick comments on it. Um, I think it looks really good. I got to find a mount for my uh, Thunderbolt. I guess what I'm going to have to do is go into a Verizon store and see if uh, what the size difference is between uh, what you say you got the Droid X. See if they got that. Uh, see if see if that mount will work on my uh, Thunderbolt. But I've got one other thing that I wanted. I got to look at as far as the Thunderbolt goes. There's a uh, there's an extended life battery I can get for it, and I really need to do that. And it comes with the back plate, which is going to make my phone even thicker. So, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do on that yet. Unfortunately, the Thunderbolt is uh, so new, it only came out in, uh, what, March? That there's not a lot of... Uh, 
there's not a lot of uh, options for me that say it will work off the internet and there's no nothing around here that I can just take the phone in and say let me see that mount let me see if it'll fit because there isn't a mount store or anything like that so I don't, I don't know yet it's kind of a it's kind of a rotten deal I kind of thought of that one okay when I got a phone that was so new The other thing I'm waiting to find out is uh, there's supposed to be a, an update coming out that's been stopped called the uh, Gingerbread for Android. And it's supposed to be being made for the Thunderbolt to address a couple issues in it. Now, I don't know how they're going to do that. There is one leaked copy of it out. And people are having to flash their phone and I'm not really interested in, I'm not gonna do that myself. I don't have enough experience doing that. For me to feel comfortable doing it. And plus this leaked version, uh, I was reading on it yesterday again, because I keep trying to stay up on it. Um, people are having it, that have put it on their phone, say that their phone, some phones have bricked. I don't know what brick means, I mean, what is it, it just becomes a, a lump and it's not worth anything, it won't do anything? I don't know. But I'm not going to play with it right now. So if you want to talk about oil, which you brought up in your uh, video, we can talk oil. Um, for my break-in, and yeah, I, didn't, I hear what you're saying about all the different websites that, you, that you're checking out. Yeah, I, I pretty much stick with KLR650.net. Um, I'm pretty well known on there. and. I pretty much know who I can listen to, who's who knows what they're doing and who doesn't. So my break-in, I did a lot of engine braking, but I do that anyway. That's just my riding style. And from previous experience breaking in new vehicles, I started off with the uh, fossil oil. And I started off with the... Uh, 1040 Castrol the white bottle stuff and I changed that well the first time I changed the oil was like 250 miles and uh, I ran up to I think it was 750 miles so I put 500 on the Castrol and then I dumped it changed the filter because all the metal filings that are known on these. And I basically kept changing my oil every 500 miles with fossil until I hit 1500. And then I went to uh, Castrol Synthetic Blend, the 5050. And I ran that up to about. Uh, 5,000 miles and then I went strictly synthetic and I ran 1040 now the winter time when I'm riding every day I run 5w30 
because it doesn't coagulate, if that's a word, the word I'm looking for. The oil stays thin enough that it's easier to start the bike. Now I'm up to, uh, well, I'm 30 miles away from uh, 14,000 miles. And I'm running 20W50 now, Castrol Syntec. And... <coughs> Sorry. And as long as I'm running that Syntec, I am not worried about uh, viscosity breakdown. Did I, I just, synthetic oil, I don't know what you have to do to get it to break down. And I've also done the uh, thermal bob that keeps the temperature down. And I did the doohickey, so the uh, tensioner spring. Um, I got the circle one. And pretty much that's uh, that's those uh, oil related mods and what I do as far as oils. Somebody took my parking place. What the fuck? Oh, you little bitch. <laughs> There it is, boys, another KLR. Look at that buck-ass naked KLR. That's one of my bosses at work. I've been ragging on his ass because he doesn't ride. He's got that for sale for 4,500 bucks. Brand new. Same year as mine, same color as mine. But he doesn't like it too much, I don't think. Man, that's a low son of a bitch. The goat looks better. Go ahead, Hot Rod. Sorry, you didn't get over quick enough, huh? Yeah, well. Ernie yelled speed bump. 